I am back in Metro Detroit to go on a food tour. We're gonna go check out some great Mexican restaurants. So let's go do that now. So make sure to watch this video on an empty stomach. Uh, hey everyone, Scott of the Scott Man, and we're starting our Mexican restaurant tour of Metro Detroit here in Mexican Town. We're located in Southwest Detroit, and this is a very, very cool neighborhood. A lot of great Mexican restaurants, Mexican bakeries. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be really cool to check it out today. And then of course we'll have to get some food while we're here too. Let's say uh, Mexican town is pretty cool. Really like the street art that's all throughout the area too. All right, it's actually starting to snow. It's like it's funny thing is just it was really warm just two days ago. Now it feels like it's January. So let's go now. I warm up but dry off. We'll head to our first restaurant. All right, and here's the place. This is a uh, La Jalia Scanse. It is a, a taqueria located here in Mexican town. And for all I was seeing online, it's supposed to have some amazingly delicious tacos and also some great Mexican food. So let's kick off this Mexican restaurant tour by heading inside. All right, so here inside, and it's like what's cool is that it's both a, a, a Mexican supermarket and also a restaurant. So the restaurant interior is pretty cool. Love all the decorations in here. So they got a lot of great Mexican dishes, but I had to get their street tacos. So I got their tacos dinner. This looks really good. Got rice and beans with it, and of course I got three tacos, one with chicken, one uh, al pastor, one carnitas. So I'm gonna try a couple bites of the tacos here. I'm gonna try a bite of the chicken. Chicken has a lot of great flavors in it, and I say it's absolutely fantastic. I'll try a bite of the El Pastor. Mm. Very juicy and delicious. They cooked it very well. Beans are really good too. So is the rice. Awesome food. All right, so I'm filling this in the car because it's really coming down snow-wise. Like, it's a wet snow, so it's a little sloppy. <laughs> but, yeah, the food was really good. And what's really cool is that it's like to get the taco, taco dinner with three tacos and, of course, the rice and beans. Also, chips and salsa. That was like $9, and that is a really good deal. One word of caution is that there is a little bit of an extra charge if you do use a credit card here. And also, they do include the tip already, so keep that in mind too. But yeah, great tacos here in Mexican Town. I also wanted to go to a, to a Taqueria El Rey, which is a highly acclaimed Taqueria here in Mexican Town. But unfortunately, they had a terrible fire at the very like the early part of 2022, so can't really go there, sadly. But there are some other cool spots where you can get some great Mexican food, including another great taco spot in other areas of Metro Detroit. So let's go do that now. All right, and we are here in Plymouth, Michigan for some more great Mexican food. So this time we've head out of Detroit and we're going to check out different locations around Met the rest of Metro, De Metro Detroit. As a matter of fact, I well, think just a couple years ago I was over here over at a, at a Maya's Deli, which is a really good deli by the way. But we're get here to get Mexican food and we'll get some at a, at a Barrio Cocina y Tequileria. <laughs> I to make sure I was saying it correctly. But for always sitting online, it's supposed to have some amazing food. So 
on a very cold and snowy day like today, it's nice to go inside and warm up to some great Mexican food. So let's go do that now. All right, so I made it inside and very roomy interior in here. Lots of places to sit down. But what's cool is I got a nice little spot by the window so I can look outside if I want to. But they got a lot of great Mexican food. And of course, they have a lot of tequila here too, many different kinds. I don't really drink, so for the most part, so it's like, yeah, I'm not getting tequila today. I would like to be able to drive home. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get something different from tacos this time because there'll be another place I'm going to go to later in this video which has some great tacos. So today I'm getting their enchiladas verdes. It has chicken, cheese, and of course has some crema topped on top of it, and of course some more cheese, and of course inside of the rice and beans. All right, uh, have some of the black beans first. Pretty creamy too. The sauce is really nice. All right, some of the rice. Mm. That's some nice, some really nice flavors to this, and I gotta say it's really good. All right, I gotta try it by with the the enchiladas. Oh, this looks hot. Mm. This is good. Very cheese. They put a lot of cheese on it. It makes it absolutely fantastic. Okay, try for another bite. This looks a little bigger. Mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. These are these are really good. I'll eat the rest of this off camera and then I gotta go back outside in the cold. That was really good. Really enjoyed those en enchiladas verdes. Lots of great flavors in every bite. And then what's really cool too is that uh, they, they get their meats from a, from, from a local meat market. It's called, a, I think it's called a Plymouth Meat Shop or so, something like that. And also when you go, you can also get chips and salsa too, which I didn't get any. But one thing to note though is that you do have to pay for the chips and salsa at this place. And I've seen it at some other Mexican restaurants too around much of Detroit, but... But, which, <laughs> that was okay because I didn't really need that because that was filling. That filled me up. But yep, great food and great service in there too. So uh, definitely check out Barrio when you're here in Plymouth for some great Mexican food. But there's still some more food we have to cover in this video, so don't go anywhere. And we are here to get some more Mexi Mexican food, but we're gonna get some more tacos this time. And I'm here in Madison Heights and we're gonna check out Taco Tienda. It is a fantastic little Mexican restaurant slash grocery store where you can get a lot of, gr a lot of great, I am in a little grocery store and of course the little restaurant that's a part of it too. It's run by a local family here and to be honest with you, some of the best tacos in all of Metro Detroit can be found here. I've come to this place many, many times. I've had great experiences every time and I can't wait to share some of the tacos with you. Well, unfortunately, I guess you're not with me in person but at least you're with me in spirit. So you just have to check out the tacos for yourself, but I'll go enjoy some inside. All right, so I'm here inside and nice little small interior. It's like it's half dining area, half grocery store, which is really cool. What's really great about this place, they got a lot of great Mexican food, but of course, most importantly, their tacos are amazing. So I got their three chicken tacos. So I've, I've had their chicken tacos here before and they're to die for. And they're pretty hot too. And another thing too is that I like to put some of their green sauce on these tacos too. Mmm, mmm. Very flavorful. The chicken too is really, really juicy. When it comes to chicken tacos, these are the best I've ever had here. And these are really good. They have red sauce here too, but it's even spicier. Mmm-mmm. 
These are delicious. It's one of my favorite taco places in all of Metro Detroit. <laughs> it's making me hiccup. <laughs> Oh well, I should eat the rest of this off camera. Oh yeah, those tacos are absolutely fantastic. But yeah, they got a lot of great taco uh, ta taco fillings you can get too. Like, because I got three chicken just because those are my favorite and they're the best chicken tacos I've had anywhere. But they also have El Pastor, they got carnitas, they got marinated pork, they got chorizo, and they even got some of the more exotic stuff like cecina, lengua, or basically t tongue. And of course, not only that, but they also you can also get like bur a burrito, enchiladas, uh, chilaquiles, tortas. And what's nice too is that, again, as I was saying earlier, it's run by a local family and they're really nice in there too. One thing to note though is that if you want a beverage like a soft drink or even like water, you, you have to go to like a, a little refrigerator that's in the grocery section of the store or rest, store slash restaurant. And, and, you pay, and you pay at the counter too. And then their chips and salsa is really good too. I didn't get it this time just because I just wanted to get like a light snack. Well, not like a snack, but like a quick lunch. Just get some delicious tacos because the tacos fill me up. But their chips and salsa is really good. They do cost extra though, but they are worth it. All right, so there is one more Mexican restaurant I'm gonna check out. We're gonna be heading to the outskirts of Metro Detroit this time to get some great Mexican food. So don't go anywhere just yet. Alright, and we're here for our finale for the Mexican restaurant tour around Metro Detroit. Although we're starting to get more in the outskirts now. We're in White Lake Township, out in the northwest part of, well, the outskirts, <laughs> as, I, as I like to say. So we're going to go to a, a great Mexican restaurant called Mojave Cantina. So it's supposed to have some amazingly, amazingly great food. I've been here once before, and the last time I came here, I had some really good fajitas. So let's get that on video. So we're gonna head inside and enjoy some great fajitas. Oh yeah. All right, so here inside, got a very roomy interior in here. Lots of places to sit down. So as I was saying outside, yeah, got some great fajitas here. Got chicken fajitas, nice and sizzling hot. Peppers, onions, chicken. I think you also get steak as well too, or even pork. Anyway, peppers, onions, and of course some rice and beans, and some cheese and sour cream. All right, so I already made one off camera to make this a little bit easier. <laughs> but they also have a lot of great classics too from tacos, burritos, enchiladas, even like authentic Mexican tacos too. All right, so I'm gonna dig into this. These are very juicy. Chicken's cooked perfectly, and of course the peppers are amazing too. Mm -mm. <laughs> that full of flavor. Some of the Spanish rice. Amazing stuff. And the refried beans are really good too. They have, and also has some chips and salsa earlier too. Co comes complimentary and their salsa is amazing and their chips are nice and crispy. This is the perfect place to go for some great Mexican food out here in the outskirts of Metro Detroit. Okay, Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this off camera. This is gonna get really messy here, so I'll see you back outside. That was really, really good. The, their fajitas are absolutely amazing. Lots of great seasoning on them too. So if you're looking to get some great Mexican food just outside of Metro Detroit a little bit, definitely check out Mojave Cantina in White Lake Township, Michigan. Again, the food's absolutely fantastic, but that was way too much food, so I have some leftovers for tomorrow, so even better. <laughs> All right, so we've covered a lot of great Mexican spots or great spots for Mexican food. And of course, we have to always include something in Mexican town down in Detroit. So we started off over there and then checked out a couple of restaurants 
around Metro Detroit and then head over to the outskirts to check out another great restaurant. So lots of great Mexican restaurants around Metro Detroit. So you, you have to check out at least one. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that we know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from White Lake, Michigan.